Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. It's Friday right now, Friday after Thanksgiving. Today's been honestly such a nice like chill day so far. It's 11.30 right now and I've had this idea since I was like reorganizing last night and going through a lot of my old footage. I was re-watching like old apartment tours and looking up like photos and stuff of my old places. I thought that it could be fun for part of today's vlog for us to go through and redecorate my current space to look a little bit more similar to how my old space used to look. And my neighbors are putting up their Christmas decor, like their Christmas lights. So. I found all of my crystals last night. So we have all of these crystals that I can place out and bring in some good energy in here as well. This is currently what we're working with. I'm gonna redo the nightstands, both sides. It looks similar to how they used to in my two bedroom apartment that I had. And I wanna redo the desk a little bit as well. See how we can kind of switch this up a little bit. I don't know what I'm gonna do for here yet, but we might switch this up a little bit too. We'll kind of just go with it and see where it turns out, but I think the first step is going to be the nightstands. I have layers of self-tan on right now, so um, we're just in like loose, comfy clothes because I'm going to have to rinse this off later. Let's get to it. The very first thing we need are, I don't know where my other one is, these because I know I had these on both of my nightstands so these are from amazon i will link them for you guys but we're gonna move everything off of the nightstands and we're gonna redo them and see i need to look up some photos for inspo and like look at my apartment tour that i have on youtube okay we have all of my apartment tours i believe it's this one furnished apartment tour 2021 okay i see what the vibes were looking like on the nightstand i miss this apartment so much it was so beautiful so much light let's forward a little bit I think my bedroom area starts like here let's see oh i miss all of the plants that i had in there Get a lot of questions about my bed frame. Okay, I definitely have these decorated a little bit different. Okay, so it looks like I had at least a plant on each nightstand. I did have matching plants at one point. I don't have matching plants, but I do have two different plants on both of my nightstands. Would be cute to have matching, but we're just gonna go with the flow and what we have. So we have two books stacked. I wish I had photos from when I had these on there. I think I might do this instead of the books and switch it up a little bit and maybe use the books elsewhere. So let's just go ahead and try styling with these first and see how this goes. Okay, I found this one from my studio apartment. You can kind of see the vibe of those on there. Let me see if I can find one for my other apartment. I also really love the vibe of how I styled this, so I'm thinking maybe something similar for this for my dresser. Kind of the vibes there. Okay, let me find another one. Okay, I found one that I can use for some similar inspo. So essentially a light in the back corner because I have matching lights on these. And then I can put my hatch towards the front and a candle and a crystal. I also have that same diffuser, so I might break out that diffuser. Okay, let's attempt this. We'll start with this nightstand and see how we can do. here we have the final product for the top of the nightstand trays from amazon plant i got at rogers garden as did the as i did with the planter as well um and then this veluspa candle it smells amazing i had it hidden in my cabinet out there i kind of forgot i had it and then we have my hatch and one of my favorite crystals i have so many i was like i couldn't choose i almost put like four of them on here and i was like you know what no um we can't <laughs> That's, that would be too many. Um, I have 
so much palo santo still left over helps bring in good energy i know it is also a sacred practice um so keep that in mind if you are going to be using palo santo but the bowls that i have for my little palo santo stick these i used to sell on my website it's just a little selenite bowl so i love the look of this overall i feel like it came together really well i think i want to style this section right here with some books so i need to clean this out and pull this out as well love this little tray that i have i don't have a use for it quite yet but i think when i have my own apartment again someday i might stand number one let's move on to nightstand number two look who came to join me you're gonna help me decorate these are all of the other <laughs> crystal options that i had um and then I have all of these. I have all of these. I don't know where I'm gonna put everything yet, but we're just gonna go piece by piece. And I feel like as we start to decorate a little bit more, it'll be a little bit easier to kind of get everything balanced. All right, this is what we have for the second nightstand. Um, I really wanted to display one of my favorite crystal geodes. Um, and then since we still have some Christmas decor out, I wanted to keep these houses out. So instead of another crystal in front and a candle, I'll have these little houses. And then instead of another little selenite bowl, cause I don't have a second one that same size. I just have this little shelf filled with all of my like little crystals that I want to display. Okay, moving on to this i want to start rearranging this a little bit i love how that geode looks on the tom ford book so i think we might try to do that and then maybe still somewhat keep like this sort of vibe because i need a little spot to like drop my keys and stuff let's take everything off and then we'll rework it Okay, dresser has come together. We swapped this. Um, I added this to add some height because I feel like it just wasn't enough. And now I love how that looks. Kept my jewelry box out because I reach for this often. This, I love the little pop of red for the holiday. Um, it had a cover on it. 
it was that gray one. So I popped that off, stacked it with this white book and added a selenite wand on here. My Marshall speaker, I use this all the time to play music. My perfume, these I reach for pretty much daily. Um, and then we kept this very, very similar. I just added two little crystals on there and I love how this whole area looks. The only thing that I did over here was I took away one of the little houses and swapped it with a candle so it's like somewhat more even on this side and I can light a candle on either side of my bed now. We have to move on to the desk next. I need to look at some photos for inspo and then I want to clear I think everything off and we'll start fresh. officially finished decorating. I couldn't really find too many photos of my desk and my bathroom to like finish that so I just kind of went with something different, something that kind of vibed with a little bit more. So this is what we have on this side of the desk. Cleared everything and then through these two crystal towers. Leanna got these for um, my birthday for me. And then we have a book that I had that was extra, put my sound bowl on my desk as well. And then my little bowl of crystals there. This is now what this side of the bed, like this nightstand looks like. Nothing changed on that side. And then in here, I just added a few crystals right here, candle. I added one little crystal up there and a crystal back here as well. That was like pretty much it for in here. But I love the way that the nightstands look now. I love the way that my desk looks now. And then I also love how the top of the dresser came out. It worked out so well. I'm very, very happy with it. I've just been chilling on the couch for a while. I have my um, leftovers for lunch and then I decided to get a quick little upper body workout in because we have weights downstairs so I just did chest triceps and a little bit of shoulder and now it's like 3 30 right now I'm getting dressed I'm gonna head out for a quick little run nothing too crazy I just really want to move my body today so I'm gonna stop feeling like a couch potato and go out and run for a little bit. I'm probably just gonna do a few miles. I'm wearing all black because I still haven't rinsed myself tan off yet. So I'm gonna rinse myself tan off after I run. I feel like it's like a waste to like shower off and then go run and then, I don't know. I just feel like it makes more sense to just run and then shower afterwards and do like my full shower. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go with a black hat today too, literally just like all black vibes because of my self tuner and then my new balances i'm not really like a hair kind of girly when it comes to running so i've just been doing claw clips and thankfully i've been getting them to be able to stay like perfectly some days they're not as good as others but it works okay full fit deodorant stains and everything I'm gonna let my phone charge a little bit more and then we're gonna go. I'm gonna throw on my watch too and see. I don't really care about my pace today, but I just wanna be able to track it on here as well. You guys already know my favorite running shoes the New Balance 1080 V12s. I feel like it's gonna be a good run today. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. back 
for my run. I am so tired. I don't know what, like, I think it was just all the food from yesterday. My first mile, I PR'd. Let's see how fast. I think it was like nine minutes, which I haven't done in a very, very long time. Okay, my first split was nine minutes, 21 seconds. Second split was 11 minutes, 58 seconds. My average has been like 12 minutes. I feel like anywhere from like 11 to 12 minutes on usually like my mile pace and then 0.3 17 minutes but that was because i was walking uphill it didn't actually take me that long i didn't even finish the third mile i only did like 2.3 <sighs> i told you guys it was gonna be a good run i set the tone for my workout i feel so good i'm gonna do a little bit of um i can't even think of the word <laughs> the like leg massagers gosh you guys i that's where my brain is at right now um, compression on my legs. I'm gonna sit in bed and do that after a shower and then I want to do red light and a sound bath meditation. I did one yesterday before bed and it was so nice. It wasn't as long as I wanted it to be. I only did like a 10 minute one but I want to like lay for like 30-45 minutes like I was doing when I was going to Equinox and like really get into the sound bath meditation because I feel like that's when I can truly like dig deeper into that kind of um, meditation practice. Okay, I am like still trying to catch my breath. My legs hurt so bad. I need to massage them out and they'll feel a little bit better. Like for whatever reason, my thigh on this side is like so much tighter. I think I'm gonna wait another day to wash my hair because I literally just washed my hair. So we're just gonna do a body shower and throw some dry shampoo in. It feels so good to shower. I've been using this candy cane body butter after the shower lately, and it's actually so good. It definitely does have like a good bit of shimmer to it, I've noticed. I kind of want to go back and get like two more before they fully sell out for the season or like stop selling them, but who knows, they might already be totally sold out. It just smells so good, and I'm not usually like a candy cane girly. I don't know, there's something about this. It's so good, and it's so moisturizing. I think it was only like five or eight dollars for this whole container up. I've been marinating in self tan literally since 8 a.m. this morning so it feels so good to wash it off. I feel like my skin has been breaking out a lot more than usual but I also just finished my period so that totally could be why. I have like one really painful one right here. This one popped up and then I have just like some like I can feel underneath my skin right here but I love this um, clarifying toner. I always result back to my La Roche Posay stuff. Anytime I have active breakouts, which typically didn't happen around this time of the month, these ones on my face right now, like mostly just this one hurts so bad. Like I even, it's been painful for like the last few days. This stuff is amazing though for a little spot treatment. I've shown this so many times, you guys already know. I just use it on my problem areas. I went through my little bin that I have on the shelf earlier and I have this um, Peptide C Energy Eye Concentrate Brighten, Smooth, and Deep Puff is from what I haven't actually read the ingredients on this so I'm going to check the ingredients really quick before I use this. It's from Youth to the People. I think they sent me this in a PR package a while ago and usually I'll check um, the... I'm just like running around outside. Usually I will check the ingredients before I put it in my bin so that way if I go to use it I know that I've already checked it and I don't think if there's anything on here that like I can't use I think I'll be fine but let's just double check oh I love their triple peptide cactus and oasis serum I'm like looking at their website right now to find the ingredients but I'm seeing that they have a 30% off sale for Black Friday I literally don't need to buy any skincare for a while I I'm very lucky and I get very lucky with PR packages lately being a lot of skincare which is honestly so nice because then it's one thing that I can save my money on and then I'm also able to try like a bunch of different things and share with you guys how I like them but I have yet to use something from Youth to the People that I don't like okay let's see their full ingredient list and just double check yeah okay solid we're gonna try this out I have their um, yerba mate facial um, 
mask in my shower and I use that you guys I am so sparkly like I, <laughs> I don't even know if you guys can see in the camera but like I'm shimmering I have their yerba mate facial cleanser or like mask or a surfacing mask I think or something like that and I use it at least twice a week in the shower especially when I'm wearing makeup or anytime I feel like I really just have like a lot of buildup from wearing anything on my skin oh this actually feels so nice wow i could go for some eye patches right now honestly i haven't done that in a while i might do that all right we're gonna go in with some glow recipe hyaluronic add some hydration back in after all of that acne serum and then i always use this as my moisturizer you guys already know Tried and true. I just use like the tiniest little bit. I feel like I've slowly been starting to organize my belongings here a little bit better. And it's starting to feel like I have more control over all of the things that I have. Because honestly, for a while there, I just felt like I had so much stuff and so little space. And then once I really started to like <laughs> realize what items that I loved and what items that I really truly wanted to keep and which ones that I could get rid of it started to just feel a lot better but I've done like multiple different closet cleanouts now since I've been home and I feel like it'll be so nice when I do move into my own place again to have a lot less stuff because I feel like I just started to accumulate so much stuff like it's it's so easy to slowly accumulate like more and more the more space that you have I went from obviously like a studio to a two bedroom and then I had to downsize to a one bedroom and then we basically downsized to one single room that I had to fit all of my stuff into so it has been like a big journey going like from all of that stuff down to what I have now. These are the eye masks that I just put on. <sighs> I feel so much better you guys. I'm glad that I decided to get a quick workout in, get my body moving, and not just like sit on the couch and feel like lazy. I don't know. I mean, like, it, that's totally fine to have days like that. I'm not saying like there's anything wrong with that, but I was just like mentally in a slump. And I feel like getting up and going for a run and getting out of the house, moving my body, I feel a hundred times better now. I made myself a cup of tea. This is my favorite lavender blueberry tea. I think they sell it at Whole Foods. Um, and then. A little protein shake because I'm not super super hungry after my run. I left my phone downstairs though so I gotta go back downstairs and get that. While I sit and sip on my tea, I'm also gonna read a little bit more about you and oh my goodness you guys my legs. My legs. We're gonna do some compression therapy. I love these things. I'll link them for you guys down below as well. Untangling them is the hardest part, mostly because they are not connected. Like one full piece, like the leg piece and the thigh piece is com completely separate. Taking your recovery seriously is a huge, huge part of training. I also filled up my water bottle with my element packet and electrolytes. Okay, it is warm in here though. Where is my fan remote? Okay, 15 minutes on auto, so it'll go through like all three. Yeah, maybe she will take yours. Just as you Thank you. Serena, hey. 